the second edition of Killer Bees Rewind. I'm Rich Bocchini. Join me every week on KillerBeeHockey.com for a look back at the past weekend's action. The Killer Bees played their first three and three of the season, hosting Arizona, Amarillo, and then traveling to Laredo. Despite a two-goal effort by Grant Kechner Zeller on Friday, the Arizona Sundogs doubled up the Bees 4-2 thanks in part to defenseman Matt Hansen's two goals and a 47-save effort by goalie J.F. Paris. Less than 20 hours later, the Bees and Amarillo Gorillas dropped the puck for a 1 o'clock game on Halloween. Joel Irving got the Bees going with a power play goal early in the first for his first goal as a Bee. Then Jesse Benefield got his first of the season a little more than a minute into the middle stanza. Geckner Zeller added a goal in the third and the Bees skated to a 3-2 win. The weekend closed with a wild game at Laredo. The team swapped goals throughout the game and the Bucks cashed in three times on the power play. With three minutes and four seconds left in regulation, Laredo's Jeff Best put the Bucks up 5-4. But rookie defenseman Mike Haar answered with his first pro goal for the Bees with a minute 56 left to send the game into overtime. It took six rounds into the shootout to decide the winner as RGV's Sean Landol put the Bees ahead and goalie Andy Frank made one final save to give the Killer Bees a 6-5 win. The Bees went 2-1 on the weekend, improving their season total to 3-3-0. This weekend, the Killer Bees host the Missouri Mavericks at 7.30 on both Friday and Saturday at the Dodge Arena. It's the first trip ever for the expansion Mavericks to the Hive. You can watch the game live on CHL TV or listen live at KillerBeeHockey.com and KBuck 102.1 FM. Join us next week for another edition of Killer Bee Rewind right here on KillerBeeHockey.com.